Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to review the successor to the Bluetooth audio receiver. This is the Audio Receiver 2 and it has a lot of new features on board. But is it worth it for the price? Let's find out. Before I start, I would like to thank Techhead PH for providing me this unit for testing and reviewing. But as always, this is an independent review. All opinions are mine. Now starting with what's in the box, you'll get the Bluetooth receiver itself as well as another accessory which converts the 3.5 input to an output, allowing you to use this in a car radio. You'll also see you can get a micro USB cable in a manual. Starting with the design, it has a slim design profile, slimmer than the original one and much more compact, since the first version looked like a Google Chromecast. With this, you'll get more options on selecting music with three buttons indicating play, pause, next track, and previous track, and you can also invoke Siri or your personal assistant on Google. To the bottom of that is the mic array which is pretty good and inside of that is the LED notification light which tells you if you have successfully connected. Other than that, it has the 3.5mm jack on the top and the micro USB for charging on the bottom. Connecting is just easy just like my other Bluetooth devices. Now with the performance, it is a great pair for my wired headphones, the Philips SHP 2000s. It gives me the same audio output as if it's connected via the cable. There's no noticeable delay and I even tried editing it with it and it's pretty great. So is it worth it? For the price, I think it's a great bargain as it gives you the Bluetooth functionality for less. If you're an audio lover or you just don't want cables hanging around everywhere, this is the best accessory you can have. So that's about it guys. Thanks to Techhead PH for lending me this unit and for reviewing. I'm Joan Villanueva and thanks for watching.